Hey guys, Duvall here for ToyWorldOrder.com along with my good buddy Puppet Duvall. Ooh. Hi Puppet Duvall. Ooh. Are you going to eat anything this time? <laughs> Sometimes I question myself why I do this. Anyway, Puppet Duvall and I are back with a brand new review. Uh, this time we're going to take a look at a Kinex item. And actually, one that's kind of cool, we're going to look at the Beatles Yellow Submarine playset from Kinex. Ah. Don't know the rest of the words of Yellow Submarine, huh? It's like one of the most popular songs. Thank you for not coughing up hairballs again. No, no. Don't even think about it. No. Hold it. Hold it in. Hold it in. No. Do it in there. If you have to do it, do it in there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you want to do it on me. Why? Then I have to bathe and like, I have to clean my clothes. I mean, look, I'm already wearing this awesomely, like, comfortable, ratty Nike sweatshirt, for God's sakes. You want to ruin it even more? The horror of my life. What are you sighing for? So anyway, Kinex's Yellow Submarine playset from the Beatles. Now, of course, uh, early in 2013, well, late, late, late 2012, early 2013, uh, Target stores had an exclusive little figure pack of the Beatles... To kind of keep that going a little bit, uh, Kinex decided to further the Beatles line by one more by doing a Beatles Yellow Submarine playset. Of course, the box is very colorful. Uh, it's very much in the vein of the Beatles Yellow Submarine uh, cartoon, which is what this is based on, of course. Uh, the blue box with the awesome graphics of the Yellow Submarine there, uh, as well as the figures you get, which are uh, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. I always liked Ringo. He was the drummer. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's my British accent. That's, it's all right, right? What about John, Paul, George, or Ringo? All right, I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. And of course, some, uh, the, the two little, uh, the blue meanies at the top there, which are kind of cool. Uh, and then the cool thing with Connects products is, of course, uh, on the front of every package of Connects, there is a very cool, very unique little scan tag down here. And by simply using your internet-enabled smartphone, you can literally take take your smartphone and we can just pick that up here. We can scan that tag there. Just scan that little tag, possibly. There it goes. Scan that tag. And basically what happens is it will open the web page for Connects right there. Uh, and unfortunately there's no real information for uh, the Yellow Submarine building set for some odd reason here. I'm not sure why. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Being funky, it took me to a different page for some reason. Well, no, there's... Uh, there is some information. It's not the normal connects information for their scan codes. Usually you get uh, a large product page. You get lots of large pictures. Uh, this, of course, is a Toys R Us exclusive, so uh, it kind of takes you towards the Toys R Us page, gives you the product uh, details, it gives you the building instructions, uh, some of the features, of course, 226 pieces. Um, it's it's a cool little feature that's on pretty much every Connects box nowadays. So that's 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 a very nice feature for parents in the stores while they're out and about. Oh. And da -da, looking, you know, they want more information on the product other than what's on the box, they can scan the code, and there you go. Uh, the back of it, of course, shows the Yellow Submarine set completed, shows the figures again uh, in all their glory. So there is some uh, some really cool, neat features. Now, we're not going to build this model um, just because 226 pieces would take quite a while to build. So I pre-built this. I'm already losing pieces on it. I pre-built this and figured that we would, uh, we would take a look at the Yellow Submarine itself uh, and its features. Now... As you can see, Connex has kind of utilized the kind of funky, they, they, they kind of cross building blocks in their classic uh, rods and connectors. Um, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this without Puppet Duvall watch. Puppet Duvall, look! Food! Go get it! Now that he's out of the question for a minute. Uh, Kinex uses these, uh, the very interesting combination of rods and connectors, which are the classic Kinex rods and connectors, of course, as well as their uh, new, something we're familiar with, kind of the, the, the brick building system that we're used to. Um, they've started to do their own over the past few years, um, as well as utilizing several stickers to kind of make this set seem a little more than what it is. Um, the basic building of it is it's 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 pretty much a hollow piece here, and I'll show you how what I mean here in a second. Um, the front and the back of the submarine are separate pieces that plug into the, the the actual top here, while the top is of course all a brick piece with several pieces molded on top. The molded uh, submarine top on right there that goes on there, and of course the stickers as I said, there's some stickers here that are, that have to be applied in this set. There's a sticker uh, around the top here that makes the window. There's the stickers along the side here that create the portholes. And then your main actual play feature of this is pretty interesting is the fact that it has two doors built into the build here that if you open the doors up, this one never wants to open. If you open the doors up, not only do you get some graphic, uh, some little graphics of the Beatles Yellow Submarine, like the, the happy kind of clouds and everything, uh, the little stage here, Actually, they have a stage that actually pulls out and go in, go out. So you have a, a staging set there for your band members. The original Beatles set that came out didn't have a stand. It just had this little plastic piece with a cardboard back that it went on, and the pieces would literally just slide across. You couldn't really display them because every time you bumped it or moved it, everyone would just go bloop and fall. So it's kind of cool that they created a, a nice little display base here as you know, as, as a concert stage that you can fit your figures in. Uh, my real complaints about this set is that it feels, it's very weak in its creation. It's its cool for Beatles fans because how much Beatles merchandise do we get as toys these days? Um, you know, the, the side of it here is all a cardboard, it's just a cardboard piece that gets pushed down on there. The doors here themselves are a cardboard piece that open and close that are just attacked, uh, attached to the smaller Kinex rods and connectors. So those are just cardboard pieces. And then you've got a piece inside here that has the, the Beatles, uh, the yellow submarine logo there. Uh, the Sergeant Pepper is actually, I, I know, what happened there? Papa Duvall, I lost it. We'll get that in a little bit. Uh, that's, the, that's the other bad thing as well. There are cardboard pieces. Uh, the top of it, the actual main top piece of it that's a molded piece will not stay on it falls off continuously uh, no matter what I do it falls off um, the other bad thing is that with a lot of the the brick creation here uh, they don't stay together very well in this model so it's not necessarily something that you could uh, put together and really get some major play out of this is more of a collector display piece uh, for Beatles fans it's not really necessarily geared towards kids um, of course, it does have little spinning propellers on the back thanks to some Kinex pieces, and that's kind of cool. Uh, now, now that we've got the sub out of the way, why don't we take a look at the minifigures of this set? Here, let me roll my sleeves up here. So, in the pack, not only do you get two awesome little blue mini figures. Now, both figures are the same, and they feature, of course, some great deals. We'll, we'll lay this blue mini over, but... Uh, they feature the, the normal Kinex articulation for the most part. They got movable legs down here. They can move at the waist. Their arms move up and down. Their hands, which are constantly in this, this pointing thing here, like, a hey, you know, they like the funds. a hey, not really. Uh, those can move. Uh, they move the hands, of course, the shoulders. And then the head, the head's kind of neat because it's got this, this he's got this elongated neck, so he kind of stands out a little bit there. But. Uh, He's got uh, he's got pretty good posability, of course, with most Connects toys, most Connects figures. Um, can't really sit down because of the way his body is designed, but uh, he does stand. Uh, they do stand pretty well, just like that. Put the other blue mini here. So you get two blue minis, which is pretty cool because you know these were the big bad guys, the big villains of the Yellow Submarine. So that's cool. So you get the two blue minis, and then you get you get John, of course. Get John to stand up there. there we go. Get John to stand up. John. You get Paul. You get George. George will stand up. Stand up, George. And you get Ringo. 
So you get all four beetles dressed as they appeared in the Yellow Submarine. Uh, let's go. Let's get rid of Ringo and George and Paul. We'll look at John here. Uh, John comes with a couple of things here. He comes with a little baton that he can actually hold. And what's interesting is that these Connects figures, there's a little, uh, little lip built onto all the accessories. And with the Connects figures, their hands are, of course, most of them, the regular ones are kind of square in a sense. So you can just kind of poke that in and that way they hold the accessories really well. They don't fall off or anything. Um, he comes with a little, a little band leader baton and a little trombone there and both of those can he can hold or we'll just pull those out of his hands for now he's got some you know all of these figures share the same articulation they can move at the waist just like that bloop, bloop. Um, they can move at the at the hips there so they can sit uh, their little knees can bend down so they they can actually actually can bend the knees a little bit there uh, they've got this this little ball joint here on the shoulder so the arm has some some decent movement there um, the elbows are a little hard to get to move, but they do bend. So you can bend them at the elbows. Uh, the hands here, the hands of course can turn pretty easily, just like that. And they've got movement at at the neck for their head, so they can move their head left and right. Um, these band members also feature the fact that you can pull off their little beards and wigs, although the Beatles bald look uh, very strange. So it's probably best to leave these pieces on, but you can pull it off and see that um, these are essentially the same heads uh, from the last Beatles set. So you've got John Lennon and he's got his glasses there. Um, but if you, you, know, you put his little hairpiece on, you can still see his glasses underneath the wig there. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Here, we'll put his accessories back in his hands here. Sometimes these are easier to get in than some. Put his, put his baton back in here. There we go. There we go. So he can, he can kind of, you know, can at least hold his instruments that he can play here. That's pretty cool. So you got John Lennon here with his with his instruments. You've got Paul, and Paul of course shares the same articulation as John, but he he features a green wig and mustache and this nice little purple rimmed hat here, and that of course can come off. You can see his face there, which is kind of cool. Now what I find is interesting is that on the sides here, there's little holes on the beard that essentially would be holes for his ears. So that's that's kind of a neat little touch, and I'm not sure if that was meant to be or if it was just something that happened during the uh, the molding process when they made these masks for these figures. But since they're all kind of this soft, soft rubber, um, it does have holes in the ears uh, where the ears would be on this character. That's kind of neat. Uh, he comes with a little flute that he can hold, just like uh, just like the other characters, and it's got some little holes there, um, as well as a, a little reed. I don't know if I don't know if I can really see it, but there's a little lip there to represent uh, the represent kind of like the reed on there. That's kind of neat. We've got George. George here is dressed in, uh, in in red and black here, and he's of course again shares the same articulation. His little outfit though, take his head off, and you can see his face pretty good. And he's got this little brown uh, beard and this black hat with these weird little green rings and almost like a little hypnotic piece there in the middle for the little purple hypnotic piece. But that snaps on, of course, his head pretty easily. And then he comes with a little trumpet that he can he can kind of bring up to his mouth here a little bit. Oops. Kind of. See, it's kind of hard sometimes with the Kinex figures to get them to do exactly what you want them to do. But So you can bring up the trumpet kind of to, towards his mouth there. So it, Looks like he's playing, so we can march. Anyway. And then we've got Ringo, who comes with a trombone. And it's interesting here, because the trombone actually... Um, we'll take his little mask off here for a second. The trombone actually just clips on the body. Like so. It just clips around him, so he can kind of hold on to it. Hold on to it there. And of course, you can see the, the, the face there pretty easily. And he comes with this uh, green beard and this... Uh, this pink and orange hat with a blue little topper there. Slide that back on his head there like so. You've got Ringo with his little trombone. And these figures all together are pretty cool. And the nice thing is, is like I said, with the uh, the stage here that slides out, thanks to the, the bottom of the Kinex feet here, you can actually, I'll just put a couple on here to show you, you can actually attach them very easily to the stage. So you've got a couple of your beetles there and they can slide in there. 
once they're a little farther back, of course, it becomes also, the submarine itself becomes a storage, uh, has a storage function to it too. So you can put all the members of the band in here. We'll put them back a little farther so I can show you here. Get them back here just a little bit farther. Back here on the stage. We'll just, there we go. We'll leave John in there. So you can slide John back in there and then you can simply close the doors and you literally can store all of the members of the Beatles in here. So that's pretty cool. Now these figures, like I said, are, are very cool. I think my favorite pieces here, figures-wise, are the Blue Meanies. I really like the Blue Meanie characters, but the, the Beatles themselves are, uh, are nicely done. Uh, I like that uh, I like that they all, of course, come with their little instruments and everything, like the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band set did. Um, they're very nicely done. They, they, the Beatles are so much more articulated than the Meanies. Of course, like I said, the meanies can't really bend at the knees and everything, but they don't have the they don't have the ball jointed shoulders. But out of all of these, the Beatles, not my favorite so much. The meanies, I want a whole army of blue meanies. I think these are tremendous. These are great little connects figures, and these are the highlight of this set. This is the these guys are the reason, honestly, to buy the set, in my opinion, because the blue meanies are just so darn cool. Well, there you go, guys. There's a look at the Connects Toys R Us exclusive Ooh. Beatles Yellow Summer. Ooh. What? Ooh. Oh. Thanks, Puppet Duvall. And Ooh. Peace that fell on the floor earlier. Ooh. Thanks there, dude. Ooh. You're you're a good guy, you know that? Ooh. Sometimes. Sometimes. Ooh. Your hair's flying everywhere though. Ooh. I'm thinking I need to shave you again. I'm just saying. <sighs> it might be better for everyone. Then I don't have like puppet hair falling into my drink when I Okay, maybe a shave is okay. Okay, maybe a shave isn't what we need. Maybe, maybe just grooming. A bath, maybe. So anyway, guys, there you go. There's a look at the awesome, well, I won't say awesome, but very cool uh, Beatles Yellow Submarine playset from Kinex. Now, like I said, this isn't something that you really want to go out and buy the kitties. Uh, this is something more that a, a music collector, a Beatles collector would want to purchase, but uh, it really kind of, uh, overall, uh, while it has some great features, I love the Blue Meanie figures, I love the Beetle figures themselves, I love the fact they have a stage they can stand on. The Yellow Submarine itself is just kind of lacking in detail and execution, but it's still a fun build. It, it was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, there were some weird things with the instructions, which, uh, of course, the instructions that come with it are, are pretty detailed. I mean, of course, with most Kinex models, you do get a pretty detailed, uh, descriptive, instruction manual here that does allow you to put it together pretty easily. You could follow that, couldn't you? Me. Yeah. So, all in all, I say if you're a Beatles fan, it's something you probably want to pick up from Kinex. Uh, if you can find these, I think most Toys R Us stores still have these in stock. Um, I'm pretty sure you can still get it on ToysRUs.com, so you can check that out. Um, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed our look at the Beatles Yellow Submarine playset from Kinex. And until next time, this is myself and Puppet Duvall. <laughs> What he what he said. Keep playing with your toys, guys. Can you sing again? Oh. Oh. Bye guys. Oh. <laughs>